Welcome back to Borderlands 3. In this video, we're going through Flack the Beastmaster, like the skills, the pets, and there's going to be more covered in the video. Credit for the gameplay goes to Outside Xbox. I'll leave a link to the original video in the description. So Flack, one of the new characters in the game, his tag is the Beastmaster. He is the hunter class of the game. He has the ability to choose from three different pets, being a Skag, a Spider Ant, which can emit a shockwave, and the Jabber, which carries a gun. There are three skill trees that each come with their own action skill, which will boost stats for you personally and your pets. Starting off, we have the Hunter skill tree. This comes with the Rack Attack action skill and the pet being the Spider Ant Centurion. Using the action skill from this tree will make Rack, which are little bird type things, it will make them soar into the air and dive bomb nearby enemies. You'll be able to set your spider ant pet onto enemies which will attack them with globs of acidic goo, spinning charge attacks and strikes from the pincer, and also the prosthetic drill arm. As an additional bonus, Flak will constantly regenerate health as long as the spider ant is out. The most crucial part of this skill tree is critical hits with plenty of passive skills that will reward bonuses like restoring ammo to your weapons magazine, and also reducing your action skill cooldown. There are other skills you might like to go for that will help with sniping, dealing extra critical hit damage, and also making it easier to hit a critical shot. Alongside all of this, there's also augments that allow you to add more rack to the pack, or you can make them deal cryo damage. You can also evolve the spider ant to deal incendiary or corrosive damage, and provide extra buffs. The hunter skill tree is one for those that like to play a little further back, and try picking off the competition from a distance. Next up is the master skill tree that comes with a gamma burst action skill and guard skag pet. The gamma burst action skill will create a rift that teleports your pet to a target location with a burst of radiation damage on arrival. You can also use the skill to quick revive a downed or dead pet, but that comes with the cost of increasing your action skill cooldown timer. Your skag pet will buff your damage and slaughter enemies with a vicious bite and also projectile vomit. The master skill tree will have plenty of skills to unlock that will increase the damage output of your pet, with things like a passive skill that causes their first melee strike to be a critical hit. You can also unlock skills that will allow you to heal your pet and vice versa for your pet to heal you, increase the movement speed and damage of your pet when you get a kill, and you can also convert an enemy onto your side for a short time, with double the duration if the target is a beast. You can improve the utility of the action skill by giving your pet a radiation aura, or providing health regen when you and your allies are near the rift. The evolutions for the skag will give you increased damage or fire rate, and teach your skag new destructive tricks. Finally, we have the Stalker skill tree that comes with the Fade Away action skill and the Jabber sidekick pet. Evading enemies and resilience are the main focuses with this skill tree. If you're in a sticky situation, then Fade Away will allow you to cloak with increased movement speed and health regen. You also get three special shots when you're in a better position, which are guaranteed critical hits, which might be the difference of life and death. This pet comes with a gun and also provides bonus movement speed. This skill tree is more focused on survivability alongside evading enemies and resilience, with things like increased maximum health, shared health with allies, which is also doubled for your pet. Again, you will get boosted damage and movement speed, but you need to maintain your health in order for these boosts to be activated. When you get the augments, you can get things like damage reduction when fade away ends, and you can give your pet the ability to taunt enemies and basically aggro them. When you're evolving your Jabber, they change their choice of weapon and get increased max health to further theirs and your survivability. The best things about these pets are that they can revive you when you're down. I'm not sure if that's all of them or just the Jabber, but that's going to be a big benefit for solo players as long as you unlock that skill. Also, if there's enemies nearby and you're down, your Jabber can get the kill and it will bring you back into the fight. So you'll basically get second wind from your pet getting the kill instead of you. You can pet your pets, like stroke them and stuff or whatever, so that you can keep them happy. The Jabber will also alert you when a loot chest is nearby, although I'm not sure if it's just the Jabber or if all pets can do that. I will definitely be starting my Borderlands 3 adventure main in Flak, and I want to know in the comments who you're going to choose to begin the game with, and if you're going with Flak, which of the pets are you going to start the game with? That is going to be all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.